All right, guys. So we are about to get real, real spooky. Last year, we played a demo of this game, and it was easily amongst the scariest video games that we've not only played here on the channel, but amongst the scariest games that I've ever played, period. And I'm spitting all over the place. I'm sorry. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the official beginning of the Mortuary Assistant. As always, my name is Hollow, and welcome back! <sighs> Let's do this. A huge thank you to the developers of this game, Darkstone Digital, for the early access. What you are about to experience is based on real paranormal events. Research of the occult has shown that heightened moments of emotion such as fear can encourage the manifestation of hauntings. I'm so glad it's almost over. Congratulations, sweetie. <laughs> Thank you. I'll never understand why you chose such a macabre feel. There's nothing but... disturbing about it. It's just but that I... I'm proud of you. I really am. You've come so far. So, you haven't told me what's next. Will you get a job where you are, or...? They actually have everyone they need. But my old teacher, Mr. Delver, transferred me to his office to finalize my internship there. Oh, well, that's good. I remember you mentioning him. Where's he located? Are you moving away from me? <laughs> no. No, I'm not moving. He's actually located around here. Riverfields. Oh, Rebecca. I don't like that. Grandma. Even I've heard things about that place. I'd just be worried people about you. People make up stories. Death is a scary thing to a lot of people. And we try to explain things we don't understand, and we want comfort when we lose someone we love. I mean, no one's embalming any ghost bodies or whatever. It's fine. Right, right. I'm sorry. But I wanted to give you this anyway. So, here. I, I don't know if I want that. Just take it, please. It should be yours anyway. Correct Thanks. me if I'm wrong, but... All right. Enough spooky stuff. I'm so proud of you. When is all this happening? When do you start? I've actually been there for a few weeks now. My review is tomorrow. Correct me if I'm wrong, but when we when we played this demo, the person we kept seeing in the mortuary, right? Like, it looked exactly like our grandma. <sighs> All righty, guys. Th this is the game that's extremely high on jump scares, from what I recall within the demo, and that is my ultimate fear and and weakness, right. if you will. Here we go. I'm really surprised. I didn't think this, what I thought was an indie game at first, which it still is in a sense, right? Um, it, it is a lot more sophisticated than, than I was expecting it to be. I mean, the demo itself was pretty sophisticated, but this full game is, so far it's taken it just a step further. The little cutscenes and the demo did have cutscenes, but I don't think it had third person cutscenes. I don't remember at least, it's, it's been a while. But anyways, we're back, uh, <laughs> back in the place of hell. God, I hate this place. So first things first, Rebecca, our last, uh, one last thing I forgot to give to you. Please grab a pencil from my desk and sign. Thanks, Zoe. P.S. Good luck. Well, thanks, Zoe. Okay, let me go ahead and grab a pencil. Handy dandy pencil. So you use it to sign the paperwork left on the door. Excellent. That makes perfect sense. So quick inventory access quick inventory and choose the item you wish to use most but not all places where items can be used will cause use item icon to appear. We've got the pencil and we're going to use that to sign. Correct. Yes. So let me just do a little quick run down here. Make sure there's nothing we're missing. Can I crouch? Yes. I appreciate that we can see the entire body. I, I love when games do this. 
I'm not a fan. I mean, it's not a big deal, but I'm not a fan when when games don't show our legs and our torso and stuff like that. I mean, it's 2022 for the love of God. What is this? Mr. Dell versus business cards. Riverfields Mortuary. Established 1970. Very freaky, sir. Anything here? In the entrance? Uh, nope. Sure. I'll flush the toilet for you. Why not? Oh, there's the fuse box. We know we're going to be coming over here. <laughs> yeah, I'm, I'm not going to drop that just in case. Oh. Well, here we go, ladies and gentlemen. God, this game is terrifying. Rebecca, <gasps> great. Perfect timing. I just finished with Mr. Dalton here. Please wheel him back to cold storage and bring us Mrs. Page. What an asshole. I had no idea he was there. And he was never there in the demo, okay? So moving the deceased. Uh, use the, uh, the gurney by standing behind it and pressing the gurney to interact. Then walk backwards with... Uh, all right. Self-explanatory. Hey there, pal. How you holding up? Not looking too hot? You see, and this is the camera that you're here. You're... You're just looking at the dead the entire time while you're moving it. So anything could happen. So the cold storage. To bring a body in or out of the cold storage, open the bay with the body's name. Pull out the rack, then move the cart over to it. Oh, God. This is... This, oh, God. This is terrifying. Oh, boy. Yeah. <laughs> what do you say the name was? I already forgot. Here we go. So this is Oswald Dalton. Okay, I will drag this. I think it was like this, no? Hold on. How do I move the... Uh... Oh my god. Alright, I'm going to place them right there. I will bring this out. I think I'm doing this the right way. There we go. Perfect. All right, sir. Uh, in you go. <laughs> All right, it's a little funky here. I've, I've got to get used to the way uh, this thing works. All right, there's that. Now I'm going to go ahead and grab the next body. Okay, open this up. Who is this? Um, Dorothy Page. Well, hello there, Dorothy. How are you holding up, sweetheart? We're going to do some experiments on you today, if you don't mind. All right, now I have to... Wait, what do we got here? Can I just... I have to grab this. Hey, what's going on? There we go. Perfect. All right, we've placed her. I guess I got to move this back inside. Or... Hold on. There we go. All right, sweet. So I'm going to push this back in. Perfect. Oh, man. It looks like she's got some sort of uh, wound to the chest. Maybe due to some previous tests. Here at the mortuary. Or maybe not. All right. I'm just finishing up something here. So why don't you grab the clipboard and start recording identifying marks? I'll get out of your way when you're done and let you hop in here. Sweet. All right. So the clipboard is used to form uh, for forms and keeping track of mortuary tasks. Large items. All right. So view the clipboard. It's going to be space. So Dorothy Page, 87 years old. Okay. We're going to examine at the legs first. So inspecting a body. However, the, uh, the cursor over unique markings such as moles, scratches, or bruises, and interact with them to record them. To the clipboard. Okay. Ooh. 
Anything in the nails? No, I think we're good. Let's go ahead and search the other side. Actually, I'm going to do the legs. Should I do the right side first or the leg? Let's go ahead and finish off the legs. We've got one here. Nothing else. The tib fib is good. All right. Oh, what the f Hmm. These old windows never stay latched. Sir, you're really going to give me that excuse? I had to smack you silly for that one. Okay. Um, wait, am I able to rotate the leg as well? Well, probably not. I probably, <laughs> I probably break it in half if I rotate that leg. Okay. So maybe this is just referring to the, uh, to the hand. Okay. All right. We'll return it back to normal. Nothing here. Okay. I'm going to go around, do the other side, rotate the hand and voila. Dorothy, as long as you don't wake up, we're going to be best pals. Okay. Just, just don't wake up on me. All right, let's flip it around. Just see nothing in the back. All right, Dorothy, you are looking excellent, sweetheart. You look phenomenal. Absolutely phenomenal. Everything is going so well. I think I already checked this hand. All right, anything here? Let's rotate. Maybe something here. Nothing on her back. We're going to go back to her head now. And this is where it gets sexy. Yes. Great. Climb on in here and put everything into the record system. Don't forget to take the printout to the front desk so Zoe can add it to the packet for the family. After that, we'll get started. Oh, God. Okay, so. Hi, sir. How you doing? <laughs> um, I'm going to put this over here. So the Riverfields Network how-to. So enter cadaver information. You're click the... Here. What was that? I didn't say anything. You all right? E yeah, I'm fine. Sorry. Fuck. To enter cadaver information, click the record system icon to open the program. Match the sections on your clipboard to the corresponding sections on the computer. Once all findings have been entered into the system, click submit to printouts. Uh, okay, the records, the file. Then file the records up front. Okay, and that's where Zoe takes over. All right. Okay, so system records. Name is going to be Dorothy. Can I type this in? Oh, I could just... Oh, it's just click and drag in a sense. So age is going to be... Well, that's much better. Um, Hold on, let's go to the head first. We've got a mole on the head, um, a contusion on the contusion, a contusion, contusion, right? A contusion on the left shoulder. Uh, we've got a rash on the right arm. We've got uh, keratolysis on the left arm. Is that how you pronounce that? Well, we're going to be learning some uh, terms today or throughout this playthrough, if you will. Maybe we won't know how to pronounce them, but we'll still learn them, right? Um, okay, we got something else on the right leg here. Where's the right leg? And the blemishes on the left leg. And that ought to be it. I think that uh, about does it. Success! We've done it. You're kind of creeping me out there, boss. Stop. Stop it. Just, yeah. We get, are we going to stop that? Thanks. All right, so the em, uh, embalming reports, a packet of mortuary paperwork related to the handling of the deceased. File up front so they are available if requested. <laughs> All right, I will be right back, sir. I don't think you needed to give me these uh, really large yellow footsteps as I am not that dumb, but I appreciate it. This place just gets creepier and creepier. Okay, so the embalming reports. Time to embalm. All right, time to embalm. Oh, I can pick up a calculator. Fantastic. Okay. okay what do we have here? We still have the clickboard. And then is wire jaw shut? Oh, my God. So I think now is when we start. Oh, my goodness. All right. I've set everything out so you can just go ahead and get started. I'll be monitoring. Everything's on your list there if you need it. 
I think now is when we start the experiment. This is where shit's going to get a little crazy. We've got this whippo. Oh, this whippo. We've got the. I can't even speak right now. We've got this window in front of this whippo. What? We've got this window in front of me, which, uh, if we recall in the demo, played a, a significant role in the jump scares. So we've got to be careful. Um, so here we've got the moisturizing pad. A wipe uh, used to moisturize the skin of the deceased. Okay. So inventory is tab. This is the inventory. Large items are held in your hands. If both hands are full, you will need to drop a large item before picking up another. Smaller items are kept in your pockets, which is here. And right now I've got, uh, seems like I've got two big items. So viewing the items after selecting an item in the description, uh, a description, it's, it's description will appear below it. If an item can be dropped, a drop button will appear under the item description. Okay. So these are probably... For the pockets the setting needles barbs with a length of wire used with a with a needle injector to wire the jaw shut okay so the first thing we got to do is wire the jaw shut with the needle injector and settings needle okay what is this the needle injector a tool used uh for hammering setting needle barbs into the skull okay so here we have the setting needle and the needle injector that's exactly what we need right yeah quite literally so we've got the scalpel a small sharp blade used for surgery we've got some eye caps used for holding the eyelid shut this i don't know who does this for a living but i mean if you do this for a living you are You've got balls of steel. I'm sorry. I'm just, I don't know how you can do that. I am so sorry. The PVC tubing, a flexible, durable tube used for various medical applications. I can't hold anything else. Perfect. I can't hold anything else. You got it, sister. Okay, IV reservoir bag and IV bag used for infusing embalming fluids into organs and cavities. I can't hold anything else. All right, so I will use this uh, artery forceps used for grasping and compressing an artery. Put that in my pocket. And uh, the troker, the troker, trocar, used for injecting cavity fluid directly into organs. All right, so those two things are large items which are held in my hand. So first things first, setting the face. Press the button to operate the needle injector. This game is disturbing, dude. And drive barbs into the skull. Then twist the wire to shut the jaw with the manipulator. Well, what the fuck? No way. Do they really do this like that? Oh, she dead, dead for real. If she wasn't, if she was faking it, she'd have woken up. I'm, I'm... <laughs> this is so disturbing. There we go. Bro, that's so sad. Oh, fuck. Oh my goodness gracious. Insert eye caps to keep eyes shut. Fuck. This is, this is terrible. So, placing the eye caps. Use the manipulator to open the eyelid completely. Interact with the eye to place the cap and close the eye. Well, <laughs> Okay. There go the eye caps. Well, that's... All right. That's so fucking disturbing, dude. All right, so what's next? To mix the embalming fluid in pump. So we need the uh, uh, the glutarol dehyde, gl gl glutarol dehyde, gluro glutar glutarol dehyde, whatever. The methanol, the <laughs> the humic tint, and the uh, formal. All right, fantastic. Fuck me. So this is the uh, the glute and arterial fluid based uh, uh, base used for firming and preserving tissue. I can't hold anything else. Okay, so I'm gonna have to drop a couple of items here. It seems like. Um, oh, can I? How do I drop this? Can I drop? Okay, I put that on the ground. <laughs> oh, motherfucker! 
Hmm. Sometimes we get chemicals that haven't been stored properly, and it can make them pop like that. Just keep doing your thing. I'll get it. You fucking serious, man? <laughs> All right. All right, I'll put that. It's okay, an arterial fluid. Uh, this is the glutaraldehyde, uh, an arterial fluid base used for firming, preserving tissue. Seems like the one we literally just had in hand. Sounds the same, at least. All right, this is the, the hum humic tint, a chemical that aids in uh, retaining moisture. I'm sorry if I'm mispronouncing these words. I'm really sorry. Just, just bear with me, okay? I'm a gamer, not... Not an intelligent person here. So the methanol, a chemical used to hold the formaldehyde. I am butchering these names. In solution by preventing the, polymeriz the polymerization. All right. That, that actually scared the crap out of me. I'm not even going to lie. So make an incision in the carotid artery and jugular veins with the scalpel. Perfect. Okay, I will keep this in hand as well, just just to, just in case. I think I might have to clean the skin anyway, so we're gonna go here. Um, I can't use that here. No, okay, all right. I was just being um, just curious. So make the incision. Now we've got to use uh, using items. So some items need to be used directly on the body. To use an item, open. Quick inventory and select the item needed. <sighs> Artery forceps, perfect. Okay. Okay. See the clipboard? It says uh, use the forceps to clamp tubing to both veins. Oh my god. And and connect the embalming pump. Oh fuck. Okay, we need the tubing, which is gonna be this. I can't hold anything okay. else. Seems like I'm gonna have to drop this again. Grab the tubing. Okay. Go around. Oh god. Jesus Christ. Bro. Like, this is just the beginning. When it, when it starts getting crazy, it's going to get crazy. All right. So, we've got that. Let's take a look at the clipboard again. Engage the pump and let the body drain. All righty, sir. Phenomenal. Look at her go. I don't know where to look. I don't know if I should be wary of the window behind me, at my boss, or at the dead body. <laughs> Too many things at once. <laughs> Did I stop the bump? <laughs> Sir, it's not good enough? Turn off the pump, remove the tubes, and close the incision. All right. I love how precise this game is. You know? I will remove the pumps, close the incision, and uh, voila. Let there be magic. Fill an empty IV reservoir bag with cavity fluid. All right. One step at a time. Okay. This is the IV bag. Okay. We've got that. Now we've got to go ahead and fill it up with cavity fluid, which is going to be here. And then I think uh, that's what we pump into the body, no? Sweet. Okay, now you insert the, tro the troker, trocar into the abdominal... Ca Filling body cavities, insert the... Okay, until it stops to, be, uh, to begin the flow of embalming fluid. Once the cavity is full, pull the troker back, rotate it... Then reinsert until the reservoir bag is empty. Fuck me, dude. Oh, this is so crazy. I mean, I've, I've done this before because you can see, like, in the stomach where the needle is. 
Shit. We kind of did this in the demo, but just doing it all over again is super, super insane. Like, there we go. Oh, God. That was incredible. In a very horrific way. All right, so our clipboard is our best friend in this game. It tells us everything we have to do. So we've got to mix the cleaners in the bathroom closet to create the tank cleaner. Then pour into the embalming pump. Oh, fuck. I'm by myself here in the bathroom all by myself. All right, so this is the cleaner base, a solution of corrosion inhibitors. Add uh, the descaler to create the mixture needed to clean embalming machines. Okay. Mix the cleaner in bathroom. Close uh, closet creates the tank cleaner, then pour it into the embalming pump. So I think we already have it. We've got the tank cleaner. <clears throat> okay. Oh, what the fuck? Stop playing with me. It's like we can't just go five minutes without anything happening in this game, huh? It's just can can we just go five minutes with it being just normal? Thanks. Mix cleaners in the bathroom, okay. Um, then pour it into the embalming pump. The embalming pump, was it this one? There we go. Sweet. I'm gonna stay right here where I can see everything. I don't know, where do I go, man? Right here, perfect. All right. He's just watching me, dude. What's wrong with this guy? So, apply the moisturizer to uh, the facial features. Where is that, I may ask? Could it be this? Moist pads? Let me see. So, moisturizing. Move the wipe across the facial features, holding it down. Interact with the lotion. Uh... Tell you what. What? What the? Why don't what? you go what? ahead and head out? I'll take over from here. Uh, Wait. Are you sure? I just got here. Don't worry. You're doing great. I'll get the last of your paperwork sorted today and call you in for your first shift. <sighs> um. Okay, sir. Well, it was nice to meet you. I've already probably met you before. But thank you for the hospitality. Go I ahead. Will, it's fine. I'll give I you a call when we get someone in. I will be on my way now. Thank you. If I were her, I'd be like, damn, I'm fired. I haven't even started and I'm fired. But uh, I think we did a phenomenal job. Our first day at work was my first body. It was just really weird. So some stuff fell over. That's not a big deal. No, I know. It, it wasn't even my fault, but he sent me home right after that. I'm just really worried. He was supposed to finalize my stuff today. And he said he would, right? Yeah. So, that's a good thing. Yeah, it just didn't feel like he meant it. Like, well, he just said it to get me out of the building. Uh, wait a sec, I have another call. Hello? Hey, Rebecca. It's Raymond. Oh, hi, Mr. Delver. Uh, look, if I did anything wrong today, just... No, no. Uh, I wanted to apologize. You've done a fantastic job. Hmm. Just not feeling too well. That's uh, actually why I'm calling. I know it's late, but we just got three new cadavers, and no one else can make it in right now. I was hoping you could come in and take care of them. Well, uh, yeah. Uh, are you sure? I mean, of course. <laughs> Great. Uh, thank you. I I'm on my way right now. I hope you feel better. Thanks again. I'll see you tomorrow. Bye. Holy shit. That was him. He signed me on. He needs me to come in tonight. <gasps> see? I told you it was fine. Congratulations. Thanks. I have to go. Like, right now. I'll talk to you later. 
So this was the part of the demo that we played, which was horrifying. Now, where are my keys? And at one point, it didn't make a whole lot of sense because we're like, what's going on here? But now we know. We saw what happened prior to. And my keys are right here. Excellent. Keys to the apartment car and the front door of River Fields. Temporary items. Do not take up space in your normal inventory. Use a temporary item by directing, uh, directly interacting with objects that requires it. Okay. The nicest people are dead. Jesus Christ. That's actually true. <laughs> but very terrifying. See, I'd probably take one of these knives just in case, but I don't think I need to just because I'm sure where we work, there's plenty of knives. But here we go, guys. We are now headed to the mortuary for our first shift. God, I hate this. And of course, our first shift is always going to be during the nighttime. Why would it be during the nice, beautiful, sunny day outside when we can have a very terrifying, rainy midnight shift? Those are always nice. All right. Guess I'll head to the back and get started. <gasps> oh, fuck me, dude. Doors are already closing by themselves. This woman is already gasping to death. And the phone is fucking ringing in my ear. Mr. Delver, I need help. Someone's outside the mortuary. Just try to stay calm. I know you're scared. Oh, what the fuck? I'll unlock the door in a moment. What? This is very sudden, but listen to me. We have to start right away. I'm sorry. I didn't know until it made itself known this morning that it was here, let alone bound to you. I had no way of knowing the possession had started. What? Look, this isn't funny. Stop. You need to take this seriously. You need to act quickly. This is insane. I'll just leave. I'll, I'll just fucking leave. You can't leave, Rebecca. I, I can't allow that for you or for others. It's far too dangerous. <laughs> what am I supposed to do then? Most bodies I work with at night are fine. So we stay calm. Okay? We embalm, file the paperwork, everything. Treat it like a normal day. Staying focused will help. I left some things for you on the desk. I'll call again when you get to the embalming room. No, wait. Ugh. Damn it. What the fuck? This is insane. Okay. Sir. This is so stupid. Sir, I want... Some hazing for the new girl or something. I want to be fired, damn it. Just play along and do your job. Old key, hall key, and a tape recorder. <laughs> Thanks, Raymond. Now, what's up with the tape recorder? That's just kind of fishy. I guess just to record everything. But this dude knew this shit was possessed, and he's here. Literally, he's here sending me to do the dirty work. What a son of a bitch. All right, let me just make sure there's nothing else here. Yeah, so that I don't know if the... If that person was in the demo, like that person outside. So... Although this might be our first shift like it was in the demo, I'm pretty sure there's going to be some updates and changes within this version of the, version of the game, considering it is the full game. Making sure there's nothing in the closet here. I can't, I can't use that here. What are you talking about, woman? Are you crazy? Yes, you can. You see, I told you. Okay, where's the clipboard? I don't have my clipboard. How about the pencil? Nothing's here? What's going on? I'm fucking quitting tomorrow. I mean, who does something like this? That's not it. Oh, God. Fuck. <clears throat> oh, my God, bro. I hate this. I'm telling you, this game is going to get crazy right now. You thought the first 30 minutes was was nothing you're, you're about to see. All right. Listen carefully. I'm, look, I'm sorry, but this entire thing is extremely unprofessional. If this is how you treat new hires, I don't think I can work for you. This isn't funny. Rebecca, you don't have to believe me. But I hope you do before it's too late. The only way to save yourself is to banish the demon before you're too far gone. To do that, you will need to learn the demon's name, bind it to its chosen body, and burn it in the retort. Uh. Look, I know this is a lot to take in. I wish I could do more for you. I had years to learn what I know. You have hours. <laughs> I've recorded a number of cassettes to instruct you 
that having a physical object with a known message will help you stay grounded. I won't be calling again. You can't trust the phones. Anything can be manipulated. Listen to the tapes. Learn the demon's name. Burn the correct body. The most important thing in the room is in that cabinet. Open it up. Good luck, Rebecca. I'm sorry this had to happen. What an asshole. This is insane. Whatever. Just be the professional one, grab a body, and get started. All right, this is the tape. So the mini cassette tape, a small cassette labeled one night shift system. The night shift database, a computer program combining all my findings into one reference point. The database contains all the information on the process of expulsion, the tools used, and most importantly, all the markings of the known demonic names. If you ever forget what to do, replay these tapes or look it up in the database. The collection of demonic names is the most crucial piece to the puzzle. You will need this information. My ID card is in my personal belongings drawer. On the back is the passcode to access it. Use it. Okay. Where's his personal belongings drawer? The Book of Typhon. Typhon walked among his disciples and he spoke. He who does not truly let the Lord into his heart shall be judged by his sin and destined to serve those who truly believe for all are assigned to the halls of hell. Seven, abandon God as he has abandoned you. Bring Lucifer into your hearts and revel in his glorious sin for all are damned. There is no hope of God. All are marked for the houses of hell as all are hopelessly lost. You have been left behind. Eight, and as he passed, Honoron looked upon Typhon with disgust and said, I will not turn my eye from God. Satan has no dominion over the Lord's creation. Nine, Typhon looked unto, Un unto Honoron and said, pray as you wish, fall to your knees at this moment and call to God. Perhaps today he will step down from the heavens and all doubt shall vanish. Number 10, pray to nothing and behold the truth. I will take from your God's creation the ashes of man, for it burns eternal in sinful fire. 11. Typhon held the charred remains of Dirod and walked among his disciples, spreading his ashes upon their flesh, setting the deeds, or I'm sorry, setting the reeds in his hands ablaze. He said unto Onoron, See now that all are marked in the glory of Satan. 12. Onoron beheld a flash of light upon the skin of each disciple, and Typhon passed. And from it, he saw Mark burn deep into their flesh, one of three for the houses of hell, for we all are destined to serve his higher purpose. 13. And Typhon extended the ashes of Dorod to the hands of the Onoron and said, 14, bear the forgotten flesh upon your own, ignite its sin, and accept the true God. Sheesh. Okay. Mini cassette table, small cassette labeled three. The process of possession. At every moment, the demon is funneling its energy through weakening you until you are unable to resist. Identifying a demonic entity is a delicate balance. The further you are from possession, the more time you have. The closer you are, the more the demon will make itself known, allowing you the information to guess its name and the body it's bound to. The only way I've found to tell how far along a possession is on your own is to scribble on a piece of paper. Don't think about it. Just scribble. Look carefully. If you notice anything strange, it's starting to take hold. There's a notepad and a pencil on the desk in the front room. Checking you know from time Screw to time this. can give an I'm idea of the how long you might have. Our first day by ourselves at the morgue. Absolutely fantastic. Okay, so what do we have here? Got three bodies back to back. We're gonna start all the way at the left with Hiram Molina. Okay. I'm gonna pull this guy backwards. Actually, I gotta go. Damn, I gotta go get the, you know, the stretcher thingamajig, the uh, the gurney. Can't put a body without the proper. Oh, fuck. Criminal building. No, 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 no. <laughs> Let's. Lock me in here. Skip the shit out of me. 
I'm gonna sue the shit out of this man but once I'm once I'm out of here. Yep, that's what I'ma do. Alright, can I pull the body now? Excellent. Alright, so we've got the body with us. Everything is totally fine. It's time we get to work. Alright, let's check you out. Alright, let's check you out, but here we've got the uh Clipboard, fuck. All right, let's start at the feet, just like we were taught, right? All right, we got a little mole there. It's kind of cute. Oh, fuck! Hello? Nah, bro, bro, we're like. Nope, nope. New job. I'm getting out of here. Bro, we're like five minutes into this. Come on. Oh, hold on, I think I saw something there. Screw this. There it is. Back to work. Okay, cool. So, stupid. so we're gonna check the legs first, then we're gonna go over to the hands, arms, and whatnot. Nothing here, any blemishes, any little moles or okay. Right arm seems to be A okay. We're gonna go to the hold on. I think it's right over here. To the left arm. I'm gonna rotate. Nothing here. Perfect. Alright, this guy looks pretty good so far. I'm gonna rotate him on his back. Ooh. There we go. That's it. I think once she gives you that cue, like there we go. I think that's that's basically all we need to to look for. And then and we can go to the computer now and uh, input his information. So we've got the record system. We're gonna go with Hiram Molina. That's the name. The age is 33 years old. Uh, we've got left shoulder. Okay. The mole and the rash. We've got the right leg. And then we've got the left leg. And I think... I think that's it. All right. So that's entry one. We're going to back out of here. Now remember, we still got to put all the code. Find the code to put here into the night shift. I yep. need to file the copy up front. Yep. All right. So before we do that, or before we get into that, we're going to go ahead and pick this up. Going on our way into the front desk here. Nothing should happen. We should be A-OK. -okay. Person that was out there is no longer there. That's phenomenal. Okay. I can't use that here. Oh. The embalming report. Embalm. All right. So now we're going to get into the nitty gritty. So this is the paper and pencil that can be used to check how far once it slipped into possession. Oh, fuck. <laughs> that is creepy. Yo, that's freaking creepy, dude. I will never get used there to this. This is ridiculous. All right, so there's that. Now we got to get the eye caps. All right, we'll start from here. What is this? Ah, the eye caps. It seems like everything's kind of organized, which makes our life much easier. So that's good. Open up the eyes, just like we were taught. Close up the eyes. Nice. Perfect. Bada beam, bada boom. All right, so now we got to mix the embalming fluid into the pump. So the embalming fluid. Okay, this was one of them. Okay, correct. I'm gonna put that there. Okay. Not the bleaching agents. Uh, this was another one, right? Yep. We'll put that one there. Ah, fuck! Can I please work in peace? like this i don't like this uh, uh uh don't like this the methanol where's the methanol did we already put this methanol methanol <sighs> bro this is so fucked what is this the methanol of course it is all right sweet so now we've got to make sure the incision in the carotid artery with the, okay, we use the scalpel. Where's the scalpel? Aha, uh -huh. okay, we've got the scalpel. I think it was on the neck. Uh, what? Wait. Do I have to go in there? 
No, bro. What are you doing? Hello? Uh, okay. Should I probably use, um... Okay, we're good. We're good. We're not far gone. We are A-OK. -okay. I've got to close this, maybe. The reagent in the old cabinet. Oh, I need... Wait, wasn't this the old cabinet? Ah, we have the old... Oh my god. Was this part in the demo? The mini cassette tape 2. Banish a demon to hell. It must be bound to its chosen body and burned. The three objects in this cabinet are your tools. First, the clay tablet in the center is called a mark. Placing the smaller pieces in the correct configuration will spell the demon's name. Second, the bottles on the top shelf are a special reagent that will react to the mark. Add a bottle to the embalming mixture during the process. When the mark is placed on the correct body with the reagent inside, it will force the demon to become bound to it. Pay attention to signs that you have chosen correctly. They can be obvious or extremely subtle. Once you are certain the demon is bound to its vessel, burn it. Finally, the pieces of paper on the right are called letting strips. It must inscribe the sigils of its name in our world to begin the evocation. You will need to uncover these sigils to use them. Hold a letting strip up while wandering the mortuary. If it begins to smolder and burn, you're close. When the paper combusts, the sigil has been revealed somewhere in that area. They can be anywhere. So look on walls, under objects, inside furniture. Anywhere. The demon will inscribe its sigils over time to try and hide them. So check regularly. Once you uncover the sigils, Use the Night Shift database to decide which demon you're dealing with, and use that knowledge to create the mark. The steps are simple. Add the reagent to the embalming mixture. Uncover the sigils. Build the mark and place it on the body. Then, when you're certain, burn it in the retort. That's cute. That's fucking cute, son. Oh god, hi, hi, let's relax, calm down, it's my first day here, fuck. Alright, this is the letting strip. Oh, wow. How romantic. Okay, so this is the mark. These are the symbols I've got to put here. Okay, but we don't have any symbols, so I can take them. Yeah, there's no point in doing that. And this is the... Oh, am I too far gone? I'm good? Alright, we're good. Alright, so let me see. The reagent. This is exactly what he was talking... Yep. The baleful reagent. Alright, I think this is exactly what I needed. Raymond, I really need a key to the hatch outside. Cleaner is low and you mentioned having someone, uh, some down there before. I know you don't trust everyone to go down there, but having a copy of the key would make things a lot easier for everyone. Zoe. I don't even think Zoe exists, bro. This is this freaking asshole. This full access card. 468028. Alright, 468028. 468. Zero two eight. Ah, that actually worked. This database is a collection of all my findings related to the banishment of con conventious demons, uh, the history of the de uh, of the demonic, and the tools I have found throughout my research, years of travel, and piecing together whatever relics remain have been compiled here. Okay, this area on the top right leads to the following subsections. All right, so here we've got history of the demonic, uh, identifying demonic tendencies, sigils of the demonic names. All right, we got three sigils. Each of the uh, demons belong to one of these three houses of service in the halls of Satan, the houses of sin. A demon's true name is composed of four sigils of bondage. This is basically what the guy talked about. Oh, these are the little symbols. So once we get four little symbols on that on that tablet over here, then that that's exactly what's going to give us the name of that demon in particular. And there is, like we see here, there's 
three different houses. This one, this emulation, and devious, and desolation. Path to banishment. And bomb each body with a special reagent from the cabinet. You use the letting strips. Okay, this is also what this guy said on the tape. He said that we can look here or listen to the tapes again. So I'm not... Some of these things we've already heard. Learning the name of the demonic entity is more about waiting, identifying which body is experiencing demonic tendency requires paying close attention. Uh, close attention. While any of the bodies, I'm kind of nervous here, can be manipulated, it is far easier for the entity to control its own vessel. Sudden movements, large or small, can be a sign of tendency. <clears throat> if a body appears to be more active than others or strange markings start to appear, it may be signs of demonic tendency. However, the demon is trying its best to remain elusive and may manifest these manipulations on other bodies, which is why it is important to take note of which, is experience, uh, which body is experiencing these events. The more events linked to a specific body, the more likely it is to be the chosen vessel. Okay, so we can have new markings on the body, sudden movements, large or small, repeat movements... Is one body more active than the other? And this is... Oh, fuck. Body with a demonic? Body with a demonic inhabitants may display sudden movements. These bodies... Hold on, there's a video? Fuck. Alright. This... Working? No. Yeah. No? This thing is huge. So, uh... I guess... That's what she said. Um, <laughs> this is David. Raymond. This feels insane, but... I think you were right. This has happened a few times now, but let me see if I can get in here. <clears throat> there it is. Fuck. Fuck! No shot. Oh my god. Okay. Um. Did we put the fluid in? Oh, fuck. Oh, God. Did we put the... Uh, the... Okay. Um... Oh, my God, this is terrifying, dude. Oh, God. Oh, God. Okay, where's the forceps? Oh, it's not this. No, oh, it's not that. Fuck. I think it was these forceps. Artery forceps. Here we go. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and place these here. Now we got to find the tube to the neck. Tubing. Yep. Got to be here. The PVC tubing. Yo, this is terrifying. Fuck me. Okay. Yep, that that is totally normal. Oh god. All right, I'm going to pull out the little piece of strip here. In case any of these demons want to fuck around. Look, like, I'm trying to play this game and like my phone's going off and it's like vibrating and people are sending me messages and it's like blowing me off so I'm like constantly looking this way and it, it's really messing with my head right now. Shut up, shut up. Okay, let me check my uh, sanity here. Oh, okay. Totally not normal. Uh, turn off the pump, remove the tubes, then close the incision. I will close the incision. Perfect. Fill an empty IV reservoir bag. Cavity fluid in the trunk. Ah, okay. This is when we do the stomach thing, right? This was the bag. Yes. Okay. The cavity fluid was here. If I remember correctly. I can't, I can't use that here. Oh, of course you can. What are you talking about? And this was the tool we used for the belly. This this place is a little bit uncomfortable. Right, excuse me, this part is a bit uncomfortable for me. Kind of disgusting if you ask me. But uh, we're men. We're not boys here. We're grown men. A grown man must do what he's... Oh, fuck. A grown man must do what he's got to do. This is just all in, day's, all in a day's work here, guys. Okay? Everything is fine. We're going to be A-OK. -okay. Not a problem in the world. We're just sucking the liquid out of there a human body. Phenomenal. Okay. Um, mix the cleaners in the bathroom closet. Oh, God. Okay, I remember this part. Let me walk around with this paper. Just make sure that we're... Oh, God. Oh. 
Okay, okay, that's the first that's the first symbol. We've got the first symbol. This is awesome. Not really, but we're getting somewhere. That part is awesome. So the first symbol was this one. Uh-huh. Now, once we get a little bit more symbols, we'll start looking into the computer and then we'll start, you know, kind of, uh, let me go get another piece of strip of paper. We'll start looking into the computers and, uh, hopefully distinguish, uh, the demon's name and burn his ass alive or dead. Cause he's not really alive. He's dead. He's trying to be alive, but he's not, he won't be cause I'm gonna finish him and I'm talking too much. I'm sorry. Okay. It was this, right? Like, okay. Put it here. Excellent. Oh shit! Fuck! What is this? God, I'm fucking blind. Can I zoom in? God, how many- Bro, that pump scares the crap out of me. I'm sorry. Mix cleaner. Okay, apply the moisturizing in the facial. Uh, okay. Are we okay? The next thing we have to do is just clean the body's face and it'll be on its way to back into the cold storage and, and, and we'll be perfectly fine. All right, good, 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 good. Here we go. Clean that little pretty face. <laughs> Looking now marvelous, uh, Mr. I, f I forgot his fucking name. I'm sorry. Uh, return the body to the storage. Here we go. Let me just do one quick little lap here. Make sure there's no, uh, forces back here into the cold storage. It's the last thing I need right now. Okay. I think we're good. Wow. This is pretty intense. Look at the way his feet wiggle. It's pretty, pretty incredible. Yeah. Thanks. Thanks for all that info. Okay. This guy was the first one we pulled out, right? Awesome. Good. Now, I'm going to get this i'm gonna pull out the next body but first things first you're going inside bucko <laughs> in you go bud all right let me go ahead and what's your name shina nunez all right shot i'm sorry if i mispronounced that name i can't really see much now but i have like this really big light in my face so like the screen sometimes is a bit more difficult to see and if I were to have it off, but if I turn off my light, um, check this out. I'll show you. It's hard to see me. You see what I mean? Like, it's hard to see me. So, that's why I have it on. Maybe I had to tone it down just a little bit here. I don't know if that's working. Maybe, whatever. I don't know. I'll figure it out later. Okay, so we've got the next body. So her name is uh, Shina Nunez, or Nunez, 26 years old. God. Okay. All right, so here we go. Nothing here on the right leg. How about on the arm, the hand? Yep, there it is. I'm gonna go to the other side now. Actually, I'm already here. Might as well do this. Got a blemish or Whatever that is on the chest, one on the back. Excellent. You are behaving absolutely fantastic. I'm so proud of you. You are an incredible patient. You are just are. almost perfect. Yep. I don't like this. Hold on. I don't know what's going on here, but uh, I don't like the way that the, uh, the camera was getting all sorts of yellow and stuff. Might mean something. So I'm just going to walk around with this little handy dandy paper. Just in case. Okay. I'm going to input the information into the computer system. Not a problem. I'm going to get out of here. No need to watch that video again. I'll tell you that much. All right. So Mrs. or Miss Nunez, 26 years old, right shoulder looking busted. Left arm is destroyed. The right arm looks disgusting and the left leg might have seen better days. And what is that? Am I going crazy or did that body just 
started talking or something. Deliver the documents. Excellent. Walk around with the handy dandy paper again, maybe. <laughs> maybe I should just probably go home. I think I had the choice to go home. And I haven't because I'm an idiot, but I probably should. Let me check this paper. Am I going insane yet? No, we're still good. I'm not really going to know when I'm going insane by drawing on that paper in my inventory, but whatever. All right, so let's go ahead. We're going to do this all over again. We got this. We got that. It's time to open up the, uh, or close the mouth. I'm sorry. Close the mouth there. There we go. Perfect. And now we need it. I think next was the neck, right? Oh, no, the eye caps. All right, might as well get this now that we're here as well. And, uh, all right, hold on. Put up the eyelids. This will never, right. ever not get weird. I mean, this is really weird. Mix the fluid. Okay, so we've got fluid uh, here. Perfect. Okay. Every time I look at that fucking window, I freak out because I know that window was a nightmare. And oh my god, what the fuck is this? Oh, we're getting some flashbacks here. with drugs or something oh so we're gonna dig deeper into the past of this character too oh huh? rebecca she had a dark past huh <laughs> you did this to me it's all your fault oh my god what the fuck is that you son of a No, bro. No, we're not doing this. Oh, God. Oh, that's convenient. That's like a three, right? Is that this? Is it that one? Let me see. No, it's not that one. It's th this one actually yikes okay cool all right so we're gonna do all right you're gonna stay put all right you're not gonna do anything stupid now right yeah you're gonna be a good girl you're gonna stay put that's not it no oh uh, what are you talking about oh methanol okay i gotta get this one i can't i can't hold anything else Fuck. i gotta drop this one i already put that one that's why i can't get it I already I already have one of those. I do? Alright, good. Uh and then the other one is this one. Alright, we're gonna get the reagent here. Again. Put the reagent here. Hold on. I gotta go get a little strip of paper again. <laughs> um Make an incision in the quarter. Okay, I think we already have this. Bam. Bam. Now we just gotta go get the tubing. Oh, man, we're getting really good at this crap. I'm gonna be a professional mortuary assistant by the time I'm done here. Tell you that much. There we go. Start up the pump. Drain the body. Just like it's meant to be drained. Let me check my sanity. Oh, shit. In the meantime, I could probably look at the uh, computer check out the possibilities of what's going on here with this name of the, 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 the demonic entity in this mortuary right now. Who is it? That way, or what, what, what body is it attached to so we can burn it? Okay. Turn off the pump, remove the tubes. Perfect. Oh, 
Oh, fuck me. Bro, that is so scary. I need to relax. Oh, God. I'm telling you, that window is going to be the death of me. Fuck that window a thousand times over and over again. This thing again. Here we go with the belly. All right. Can I, can I, uh, maybe move around real quick here with this piece of paper and maybe we can figure out where, where, where our, where this thing is. We only need one more sigil, one more symbol. Actually, you know what? I'll use it on my way back. Right now, let's open up this stomach and, and, and get this get this party started. Drain the body, boys. Look at the marking in the stomach. That is so disgusting. It's like the needle goes all the way to like her clavicle. Well, not really. Not her clavicle. Her, her little sternum. Her stern. I think that's called the sternum. You know, like right before the chest. That's insane. Like the that little detail is pretty, pretty incredible. It's the little details that matter, guys. The little details. All right. You are A-OK, -okay, sweetheart. You're going to be just fine. Your family's not even going to recognize you in a good way. Actually, no, that's... I'm going to shut up. I'm nervous. Mix cleaners in the bath. OK, so we got to get the cleaners now. All right. Yoo-hoo. Are we okay here? Okay, what do we got here? Uh, now we gotta apply the moisturizing thing to her skin. Should we go back here? Oh my god, bro. The pacing of this game is incredibly well done because it really does freak you out, dude. Like, I don't know about you guys, but. I feel so claustrophobic this whole right. entire time. Like, th this can't be healthy. This cannot be healthy for the human mind. Okay, here we go. No, don't fuck with me right now. Oh, God. Don't do this. Don't do this. Don't do this. Don't do this. All right, I'm gonna put the body back inside. My boy, was that you? No, you're going back inside. Oh God. Let's put this there. Brian Whitney. All right, Mr. Brian, let's see what you got. I think uh, Brian is one of the names of the creators of this game, if I'm not mistaken. I don't know why you would do that to yourself, but you are insane. Mr. Brian, let me see what you're made of, sir. I don't know why I'm walking around with this paper in my hand like this. Getting all sorts of crazy. But, uh, what can I say? Here we go. May the inspection begin. Okay, left side of the body. Right side of the body, I'm sorry. Pumping on the hand. Let's go ahead and rotate you over, bud. What do we got here? Ooh. There we go. Remember the scratches they talked about? This might be the body. This might be the fucking body, guys. And luckily for us, it's it's the last one for the day. Now you see? Okay, I think she's done. She said, there you go. That, that's that got to be the cue for being done, right? Entry number three. Brian, age 36. Right shoulder. Right arm. And that's it? No. Right shoulder. Right arm. Is that right? You only had two things? Okay, good. Here we go. Fuck was that? Go ahead and place that report over there. I should probably just get in my car. I think the door to my car is open, which is kind of weird. <laughs> Fucking shit, motherfuck my arm! The fuck was that? Hey, 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 let's relax, bro! No, 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 where's my mental sanity in all of this shit? 
Why are shut the jaw? I'm about to shut that jaw. White shut. What am I saying? I'm sorry, Brian, but I gotta do it to you, bro. There we go. Creeping me out, bro. Alright, now the next thing was the neck. If I'm not mistaken. Correct. And the tubing. I'm gonna be three steps ahead of you guys. We gotta do this quick. Real quick. Oh no, it was a freaking eyeballs. Oh, there goes that. I'm actually kind of glad that this is by order. If not, we'd, we'd be going crazy. Like, the fact that there is some sort of order to the way you got to do this right. is, is fantastic. Now we got to mix the fluid. Oh, fuck me. Got to be somewhere here. Oh, my God, bro. I'm tripping out. Hello? Hello? Yoo-hoo! Third one. Fourth one. And we're gonna get the, uh, reagents. Alright, everything's going fine. Alright, now we gotta go to the neck. Open this up. Forceps. Oh, I thought I had the tubes. That's when I had to drop the tube. The large item, that's why. Okay, so while that happens... Oh my god! She was behind the cabinet! What the fuck? Bro, please tell me you saw that. Please tell me you saw that. gotta be the body this has gotta be the body all right so now we have to turn off and remove the tubes talking about dude hello what is happening don't do this Sir, what is this? I don't know. I feel like we've done everything pretty decent. I don't know. Have I been overtaken by the demon or what's going on here? Oh, you killed him. You threw away his love with your selfish sin. In his final moments, he regretted you. Be more comforting. <laughs> Just let me hear, Rebecca. It will be over. This game is fucked. Bro. I'm sorry. This. Oh God! This game is so fucked. Shut up! Shut up! The door's open. No, it's not. You are dying, asshole. You're dying. Okay. We've got the three, the two threes and the G. Now we, it's time to find it. Here we go. 
Come on, 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 come on. We've got this. The sigils, come on, come on. Come on, come on, come on. Alright, so we've got the two threes. The two threes. No, it's not here. God, 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 God. Two threes. No. Two threes. This one. It could be mass set. It could be mass set. It could be mass set. Let me see what's the fourth symbol. Oh shit, you saw. Oh, I'm going crazy. It's this one. So the three on the top and the three at the bottom. Full three at the top. Full three at the top. No, no, no. Full three at. And then this one goes here. Full three, half three, the G and the spiral. That's not really what they're called. Fuck me, what is going on? Full three, full three, G and the spiral on the left. Yep, I'm taking it. I'm taking it. Oh, you're. No, 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 no. relax, motherfucker. That's 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 fucking cute. I'm so scared. Bro, are you fucking kidding me? No, I'm going this way, huh? -uh. Oh god! Oh god, you fucking slide! I hope you fucking burn! Oh my god! <gasps> let me out, let me out right the fuck this instant. Let me out. I'm missing something. No, you're not missing shit. I'm missing something. No, what are you talking about? All right, so. <laughs> Fuck do you want, man? God. All right. Here we go. Open that bitch up. Wait, what? We go bitch oh my god I think we did it no 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 stop playing with me that's the one that's that's the one all right that's the one Once an entity finds you, all the houses of hell will do anything to get back to you. I'm sorry, but it doesn't end here. From now on, there is always a chance this will happen again, no matter where you are. I don't want this. I just want to leave. What do I do? I'm sorry, but there's no going back. I've spent years learning everything I can to keep these entities at bay. It's the only thing we can do. 
So what, you're waging some selfless holy war? It's not a war. It's survival. And I'd hardly call it selfless. We're caught at the front line of something larger. But I don't do this for some greater good. We either face it, or fall to it. I wish I could claim to be someone better. Suffering hell to save us all. But I simply want to live another day, just like everyone else. When I first experienced this, I had to make a choice. I could run and spend the rest of my days in fear, or I could learn to face it and keep some semblance of a normal life. Normal. Right. It's not a life I would want for anyone, but choosing between a life of fear or control. <sighs> You're the first person I've met to face this hell and survive. So I'm offering you a different kind of job. Work the night shift. Learn what I know. Give yourself a chance at a life beyond fear. No I don't thanks. know what you experienced, but I know it uses the worst parts of you against yourself. The more you experience, the more you'll confront the darkest parts of your life. But through it, you'll become unbreakable. I'm offering the tools to take control. The choice is yours. I hope you come back. Are you kidding me, dude? This guy insane? So I think that's the game. Um, now there is different shifts. I don't know what happens when you when you finish other shifts. If like the story kind of differs from this one, like he said, you keep going into darker parts of your past, which is kind of interesting. Um, so maybe I'll do another shift just to see how that goes. Um, and if it's worth it, in my opinion, then I will upload it. If not, we'll end it here. But wow thank you guys so much for watching i i hope you enjoyed this this was pretty interesting this was very interesting it took him two years to make this game it seems like wow i thought it was gonna be a little bit longer i heard it was about five hours long um but maybe that's where the other shifts come into play um but if it's just like the same thing over and over again then i don't i don't see why replay it unless the story does change but uh, again a huge thanks to the devs and the creators of this game for an early access code to be able to bring it to you guys early here on the channel and uh i hope you truly enjoyed this one this was this is definitely a very highly anticipated horror game for me and i'm glad we finally got to play the full game so again if it's worth it i'll upload again but uh i'll just kind of see where the next shift heads